And thanks for being with us on this Thursday evening. I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Sophie Erber. Today, President Joe Biden addressed the nation for the first time following Donald Trump's Election Day victory and second term in the White House. The president says that this election can lay to rest questions about the integrity of the American electorate system. KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Raquel Martin has the details in our top story tonight at 10. President Biden's main message to the country, especially voters out there disappointed by the election results, is the country will be OK. It's a similar tone the vice president took during her concession speech on Wednesday. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable. President Joe Biden with a message of hope and resilience after voters took to the polls election day and handed an overwhelming victory to president elect Donald Trump. We accept the choice the country made from the Rose Garden. President Biden pledged to fulfill his duty in the remaining weeks of his presidency. 74 days to finish the term. Our term and ensure the next administration is prepared to take the reins. We'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. The Trump transition team is already in full effect. Those heading the operation say Trump will be selecting leaders to serve in his cabinet and beyond in the days and weeks ahead. Rest assured that he will have um, the full backing of uh, Republicans in the Senate. Thanks to big wins for Republicans in Congress, Republican Senator John Thune says the GOP is ready to hit the ground running. To move an agenda that's good for this country, that deals with uh, taxes and extending the 2017 tax law, dealing with energy dominance, dealing with the high cost of regulation. Thursday evening, President-elect Trump named his campaign manager, Susie Wiles, as the next White House chief of staff. President-elect Donald Trump has accepted President Biden's invitation to meet at the White House. The White House says a specific date has not yet been selected. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.